अन्यक्ष विमुक्त मानि स्वस्थ भावाद आरोह्य कृष्ण परम पदम तत पतंत्य घो नादुष्मय समवन मे से दैट एसाइड फ्रॉम डिवोटीज हु ऑलवेज सी शेल्टर एट द लॉर्ड्स लोटस फीट देर आर दोज हु आर नॉट डिवोटीज बट हु हैव एक्सेप्टेड डिफरेंट प्रोसेसेज फॉर अटेनिंग सेल्वेशन वॉट हैपन्स टू देम इन आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा एंड द अदर डेमी गॉड्स सेड O oh, lotus-eyed Lord, although non-devotees who accept severe austerities and penances to achieve the highest position, may think themselves liberated, their intelligence is impure. They fall down from their position. of imagine superiority because they have no regard for your lotus feet purport aside from devotees there are many others non devotees known as karmis gyanis or yogis philanthropists altruists politicians impersonalists and voidists there are many varieties of non devotees who have their respective ways of liberation but simply because they don't know the shelter of lords lotus feet although they falsely think that they have been liberated and elevated to the highest position they fall down as clearly stated by the lord himself in bhagavad gita asraddha dhanah purusha धर्म यम तप अप्राप्य मम निवर्तंते मृत्यु संसार वर्तमनी दोज हु आर नॉट फेट फेथफुल ऑन द पैथ ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस कैन नॉट अटेन मी ओ कंकर ऑफ फोज बट return to birth and death in this material world it doesn't matter whether one is a karmi gyani yogi philanthropist politician or whatever if one has no love for the lotus feet of the lord one falls down that is the verdict given by lord brahma in this verse there are persons who advocate accepting any process and who say that whatever process one accepts will lead to the same goal but that is refuted in this verse where such persons are referred to as vimuktaatmanina signifying 
that although they think they have attained the highest perfection in fact they have not in the present day big big politicians all over the world think that by scheming they can occupy the highest political post that of president or prime minister but we actually see that even in this life such big prime ministers presidents and other politicians because of being non devotees fall down to become president or prime minister is not easy one must work very hard to achieve the post and even though one may reach his goal at any moment one may be kicked down by material nature in human society there have been many instances in which great exalted politicians have fallen from government and become lost in historical oblivion the cause of this is abishuddha buddhaya their intelligence is impure the shastra says nate vidu swartha gatim he vishnu one achieves the perfection of life by becoming a devotee of vishnu but people do not know this therefore as stated in bhagavad gita klesho dhikataras tesham avyakta sutta chetasam persons who do not ultimately accept the supreme personality of godhead and take to devotional service but who instead are attached to impersonalism and voidism must undergo great labor to achieve their goals seha sreha satim bhaktim udasya te vivo klishyanti ye kevala bodha labdhay to achieve understanding such persons work very hard and undergo severe austerities but their hard labor and austerities themselves are their only achievement for they do not actually achieve the real goal of life dhruva maharaj at first wanted to achieve the greatest material kingdom and greater material possessions than his father but when he was actually favored by the lord who appeared before him to give him the benediction he desired dhruva maharaj refused it saying swamin kritartho ismi varam nayase now i am fully satisfied i do not want any material benediction this is the perfection of life yam labdhva cha param labham manyate nadikam tata if one achieves the shelter of the lord's lotus feet one is fully satisfied and does not need to ask for any material benediction at night no one can see a lotus for lotus blossom only during the daytime therefore 
the word arvind daksha is significant one who is not captivated by the lotus eyes or transcendental form of the supreme lord is in darkness exactly like one who cannot see a lotus one who has not come to the point of seeing the lotus eyes and transcendental form of sham sundara is a failure premanjana churita bhakti vilochanena santa sandeva hrideyesu vilokayanti premanjana takchurita bhakti vilochanena santa sadvaita hrideyesu vilokayanti those who are attached to the supreme personality of godhead in love always see the lord's lotus eyes and lotus feet whereas others cannot see the lord's beauty and are therefore classified as anadrata yasmad angaraya or neglectful of the lord's personal form those who neglect the lord's form are surely failures on every path in life but if one develops even a little love for the supreme personality of godhead one is liberated without difficulty swalpam apya asya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayati bhayat swalpam apya asya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat therefore the supreme personality of godhead recommends in bhagavad gita chapter 9 verse 34 manmana bhava namad bhakto mad yati mam namaskuru simply think of me become my devotee worship me and offer some slight homage to me simply by this process one is guaranteed to return home back to godhead and thus attain the highest perfection the lord further affirms in bhagavad gita 18th chapter 54 55 verses brahma bhuta prasannatma na sochati na kankshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labate puram bhaktya mam abijananti yavan yaschasmi tattvata tato mam tattvato janatva visate tad anantaram one who is thus transcendently situated at once realize the supreme brahman and becomes fully joyful he never laments nor desires to have anything he is equally disposed to every living entity in that state he attains pure devotional service unto me one can understand the supreme personality as he is only by devotional service and when one is in full consciousness of the supreme lord by such devotion he can enter into the kingdom of god text 33 तथानते माधवतावका क्वचिद भ्रष्यन्ति मार्गात्वै बद्ध सौहृदा त्वया विगुप्ता विचरन्ति निर्भया विनायकानिक पमूर्धसु प्रभो ओ माधवा सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड लॉर्ड 
of the goddess of fortune if devotees completely in love with you sometimes fall from the path of devotion they do not fall like non devotees for you still protect them thus they fearlessly traverse the heights of their opponents and continue to progress in devotional service devotees now the purport devotees generally do not fall down but if circumstantially they do the lord because of their strong attachment to him gives them protection in all circumstances thus even if devotees fall down they are still strong enough to traverse the heights of their enemies we have actually seen that our krishna consciousness movement has many opponents such as the deep programmers who instituted a strong legal case against the devotees we thought that this case would take a long time to settle but because the devotees were protected by the supreme personality of godhead we unexpectedly won the case in one day thus a case that was expected to continue for years was settled in a day because of the protection of the supreme personality of godhead who has promised in bhagavad gita कौंतेय प्रति जानी नामे भक्त प्रणश्यति ओ सन ऑफ कुंती आई डिक्लेयर इट बोल्डली दट माई डिवोटी नेवर पेरिशिश इन हिस्ट्री देर आर मेनी इंस्टेंसेज ऑफ डिवोटीज लाइक चित्रकेतु इंद्रद्युम्न एन महाराज भरत वो सरकम स्टैंसली फेल डाउन but we are still protected maharaj bharat for example because of his attachment to a deer god of the deer at the time of death and therefore in his next life he became a deer yam yam vapi smaranam bhavam tejati ante kalevaram because of protection by the supreme personality of godhead however the deer remember his relationship with the lord and the next took birth in a good brahmanical family and performed devotional service suchinam shrubatam geha yoga bhrasto vijayate similarly chitraketu fell down and became a demon ratrasura but he too was protected thus even if one falls down from the path of bhakti yoga one is ultimately saved if a devotee is strongly situated in devotional service the supreme personality of godhead has promised to protect him kaunteya prati janti mala me bhakta pranashyati but even if a devotee circumstantially falls down he is protected by madhava the word madhava is significant ma mother lakshmi the mother of all opulences is always with the supreme personality of godhead and if a devotee is in touch with the supreme personality of godhead all the opulences of the lord 
आर रेडी टू हेल्प हिम यत्र योगेश्वर कृष्णो यत्र पार्थो धनुर्धर तत्र अस्त्र विजयो भूतिर ध्रुव नितिर मतिर ममा वेर एवर देर इज ए सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड कृष्णा एंड हिज डिवोटी अर्जुन पार्थ देर इज विक्टरी ऑपोलेंस एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी पावर एंड मोरालिटी द ऑपोलेंसेस ऑफ ए डिवोटी आर नॉट ए रिजल्ट ऑफ कर्म कांड विचारा a devotee is always protected by all of the supreme lords opulences of which no one can deprive him tesam nitya vyuktana yoga kshemam bhavam thus a devotee cannot be defeated by any opponents the devotee therefore should not deviate knowingly from the path of devotion the adherent devotee is assured all protection from the supreme personality god takes credit for satvam vishuddham sayate bhavan sthito saririnam shre upayanam yapur ved kriya yog tapah samadhi vi tavar haram yen jana samiyate O oh Lord, during the time of maintenance, you manifest several incarnations, all with transcendental bodies beyond the material modes of nature. When you appear in this way, you bestow all good fortune upon the living entities by teaching them to perform Vedic activities, such as. ritualistic ceremonies mystic yoga austerities dances ultimately samadhi ecstatic absorption in thoughts of you thus you are worshiped by the vedic principles of god as is stated in bhagavad gita yagya dana tapa karma na tajya the vedic ritualistic ceremonies charity austerity and all such prescribed duties are never to be given up yagno danam tapas chaiva pavanani manishina even one who is very much advanced in his spiritual realization must still execute the vedic principles even in the lowest stage the karmis are advised to work for the sake of the lord yagnartat karmano netra lokoyam karma bandana work done as a sacrifice for vishnu has to be performed otherwise work binds one to this material world do you understand the meaning of this work done as a sacrifice for vishnu has to be performed otherwise work binds one to this material world the words yagnarthat karmana indicate that while performing all kinds of duties one should remember that these duties should be performed to satisfy the supreme lord according to the vedic principles there must be divisions of human society chaturvaranyam maya srastam there should be brahmanas kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras and everyone should learn to worship the supreme personality of godhead this is real human society and without this system we are left with 
animal society. The modern activities of human society are described in Srimad Bhagavatam as the activities of go khara, cows and asses. Sa eva go khara. Everyone is acting in a bodily concept of life involving society. Friendship and love for the improvement <coughs> of economic and political conditions. And thus, all activities are enacted in ignorance. The Supreme Personality therefore comes to teach us how to act according to the Vedic principles. In this age of Kali, Kali Yuga, the Supreme Personality of Godhead appeared as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and preached that in this age the Vedic activities cannot be systematically performed because people are so fallen. He gave this recommendation from the Shastras. Hare Renam, Hare Renam, Hare Renam, Eva Kevalam, Kalau Nastyai, Eva Nastyai, Nastyai Gatiranyatha. In this age of quarrel and hypocrisy, the only means of deliverance is chanting the holy name of the Lord. There is no other way. There is no other way. There is no other way. The Krishna consciousness movement is therefore teaching people all over the world how to chant the Hare Krishna mantra. And this has proved very much effective in all places at all times. The Supreme Personality of Godhead appears in order to reach, sorry, in order to teach us Vedic principles intended for understanding Him. We should always know that when Krishna and Lord Chaitanya appeared, they appeared in Shuddha Sattva bodies. One should not mistake the body of Krishna or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to be a material body like ours. For Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared as needed for the benefit of the entire human society. Out of causeless mercy, the Lord appears in different ages in His original Shuddha Sattva transcendental body to elevate human society to the spiritual platform upon which they can truly benefit. Unfortunately, modern politicians and other leaders stress the bodily comforts of life Yeshatma Buddhi Kunape Dhatuke and concentrate on the activities of this ism and that ism which they describe in different kind of flowery language. Essentially, such activities are the activities of animals. We should learn how to act from Bhagavad Gita, which explains everything for human understanding. Thus, we can become happy even in this age of Kali Yuga. Jai Jai Shri Radhe.
जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री एक्चुअली इट इज वेरी ट्रांसपेरेंटली सेड इन दिस स्क्रिप्चर वेरी क्लियरली दैट वी डोंट वी शुड नॉट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ एनी डाउट इट इज वेरी नाइसली सेड दिस इज द हाइएस्ट mercy of our prabhu pad was how we explain so even though if you have some question at my level i will try i'm not master but when some question comes then i try to give answer truly manners that people can understand and can reach the right message to them but i don't think there is anything questionable after reading all this after listening all this the things are crystal clear radhe radhe